So uh, some of you might have heard of Google Glass. Do any of you, are you familiar with, with Google Glass, which just came out? Um, talking about the future is now, it's exactly like the future is now. Um, <laughs> Uh, at the Unreasonable Institute, we talked about bringing in all these mentors, and one of the mentors that we have uh, is a guy named Tom Chi, who is the former head of user experience at Google X, which designed, he designed the uh, Google Glass. Um, and uh, he, ca he came to the Institute last year and told this story, which I just thought was unbelievably, was, was just absolutely brilliant. And the original con concept for Google Glass came from um, the movie Minority Report with Tom Cruise. And some of you may have seen that scene where Tom, exactly, Tom Cruise is manipulating basically these screens in the air with his hands and he's sort of, you know, discarding a file and pulling something up and moving them around in front of him, which was, you know, Google saw this and were like, we're Google. We, if anybody could do this, it's us. Let's, let's give this a shot. So they brought Tom in and they said, Tom, do this. Let's make this happen for people. Um, and so the question that he asked us, which I'll ask you now, is how long do you think it took me to prototype Google Glass to come up with some rough approximation for what this experience would be like? Um, and let, you know, let's hear from the audience. What do you guys think? How long did it take to prototype this experience that was in Minority Report for people? Three months, seven years? <laughs> Some people have it closer. It's 45 minutes is the answer. And so what Tom Chi did is um, he went and got some fishing line. He got some ho hooks, which he attached to the ceiling. He got some binder clips to act as levers and chopsticks, um, not because he's Asian, but just because they were in the kitchen <laughs> downstairs. And, and, and he got a clicker, like the one that's up here. And he had these two chopsticks on two binder clips tied to two fishing lines over the hooks. And uh, he, put, he tied hair ties. Um, to the ends of these fishing line on the other end. So you, you stick your hands into the hair ties, and when you add pressure or tension to one, it goes over the hook and it pulls the chopstick, which depresses the clicker. And if you move your right hand, you, you can click to the right, and if you move your left hand, you can click to the left. So you put up images on a projector and a screen in front of you, and basically you can go next image, next image, next image, previous image, previous image. And what's remarkable about this experience is that within 45 minutes, you know, after he tried it himself, he had this going, and he brought people out um, to give this a shot. And because in Minority Report, Tom Cruise has his hands up here manipulating the screens in this way, um, he, had, he had the hair ties in the, in the exact same configuration. And so uh, people, people were, were moving these images, and, and, and it was pretty exciting. It was pretty cool. But while, while Tom, for example, was making these grand gestures, next image, previous image, people were doing this. You know, they're just exercising the minimum amount of effort required to, to, to advance the slides. And, uh, and over time, he also observed that people started to get really tired. <laughs> and apparently, when your hands are over your heart for a really long time, they get tired very quickly, which is why people usually gesticulate in this area. And so, uh, so they were very quickly able to, to make that kind of adjustment and change. Now, a lot of other companies had attempted the exact same approach to creating something like Minority Report, something like that eventually became Google Glass, and they'd spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and years and years prototyping the exact device. But Tom started with coming up with a very simple rough scaffolding. And so the message here is that, first of all, to start something doesn't require the complex gadgetry of the end vision that you're trying to achieve. And neither does it require uh, a full comprehension of what you're trying to do. He learned many things about people and how they interact with this specific technology that he wouldn't have learned had he not gotten those, those chopsticks and hair ties and fishing line, everything like that.